So good morning and welcome to morning prayer. I thought we'd come outside because it looks like another lovely day. Um, we are on Good Friday. It's Friday the 10th of April and I'll give everyone a few minutes to arrive and hopefully as you're arriving you can be listening to the bird song this morning. Those of you in Kinver last night might have seen that St Peter's Church was lit blue um, being Thursday evening as a thanks to the NHS. So um, you will hopefully see some photographs. I've seen a couple of lovely photographs and I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to put those on our Facebook page so that um, you can all see them. Uh, we're also grateful to Helen Barley who um, has recorded a lovely piece for us which is on the Facebook page. Uh, Jesus Remember Me, her singing with her harp and also this weekend we're joined by a good friend of mine Immy Watson um, and she's a, a musician and a singer and so throughout this weekend she'll be posting um, songs um, for Good Friday she did one last night for Maundy Thursday um, and through Easter so do keep your eye on the Facebook page and uh, and you'll see hopefully a little more than is normal You'll have to forgive me a bit, I'm suffering from a tiny bit of hay fever this morning. But let's begin our prayers. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let your ways be known upon the earth, your saving power among the nations. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory for ever. As a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, your only son was lifted up that he might draw the whole world to himself. May we walk this day in the way of the cross and always be ready to share its weight, declaring your love for all the world. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day. So may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. <whistles> Words from Isaiah that we have been sharing together all week. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High. Who is this that comes from Eden, coming from Bosra, his garments stained crimson? Crimson, who is this in glorious apparel, marching in the greatness of his strength? It is I who announce that right has won the day. It is I, says the Lord, for I am mighty to save. Why are your robes all red, O Lord, and your garments like theirs who tread the winepress? I have trodden the winepress alone, and from the peoples no one was with me. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High, all that God has done for us in his mercy by his many acts of love. For God said, They are my people, my children who will not deal falsely. So he became their saviour in all their distress. So God redeemed them by his love and pity. He lifted them up and carried them through all the days of old. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Amen. I will recount the gracious deeds of the Lord, the praises of the Most High. And so today is Good Friday, and we have quite a long reading from Mark chapter 15. If you've got your Bible with you, we're beginning at verse 16. Then the soldiers led Jesus into the courtyard of the palace, that is, the governor's headquarters, and they called together the whole cohort. And they clothed him in a purple cloak, and after twisting some thorns into a crown, they put it on him, and they began saluting him, Hail, King of the Jews. They struck his head with a reed, spat upon him, and knelt down in homage to him. After mocking him, 
they stripped him of the purple cloak and put his own clothes on him. Then they led him away to crucify him. They compelled a passerby who was coming in from the country to carry his cross. It was Simon of Cyrene, the father of Alexander and Rufus. Then they brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. And they offered him wine mixed with myrrh, but he did not take it. And they crucified him, and divided his clothes among them, casting lots to decide what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, The King of the Jews. And with him they crucified two bandits, one on the right and one on the left. Those who passed by derided him, shaking their heads and saying, Ha! You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. In the same way, the chief priests, along with the scribes, were also mocking him among themselves and saying, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down from the cross now, so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also taunted him. When it was noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three o'clock, Jesus cried out with a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which means, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? When some of the bystanders heard it, they said, Listen, he's calling for Elijah. And someone ran, filled a sponge with sour wine, put it on a stick and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to take him down. Then Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. Now when the centurion, who was stood facing him, saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, Truly this man was God's son. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, and Mary the mother of James the younger, and of Joseph, Joseph and Salami. These used to follow him and provided for him when he was in Galilee. And there were many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. We preach Christ crucified, the power of God and the wisdom of God. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of Christ our Lord. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. By your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So now we come to our time of prayer together, and as usual I would invite you to speak out or type the names of those that you are praying for this morning so that we can join with you either live or later when we watch back. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray to God, who alone makes us dwell in safety. We pray for all who are affected by coronavirus through illness, or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. We remember all those who are in hospital with coronavirus or with other illnesses. We remember all those who are sick at home and we remember all those who are shut in in order to protect their own frail health. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
We pray for those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies. We continue to pray for our Prime Minister Boris Johnson and we pray for the Queen and the Royal Family. We pray for members of the Cabinet and we remember all those in local government. We remember the leaders of our emergency services. We pray that they will all make wise decisions. We pray that they will know strength and courage in these difficult days. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for doctors, nurses and medical researchers that through their skills and insight many will be restored to health. We pray for all those working in the NHS today. And we remember all those that support their work. We pray for those working in pharmacies. We pray for dispensers. We pray for cleaners. We pray for those who are making deliveries from pharmacies. We pray for receptionists. We pray for all those who deal with our queries. We pray for those operating 111 and everyone who will be working today to protect our health and to bring much needed care to those who are sick. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your peace and your comfort. We pray for all those who have, a have had a difficult night of watching and waiting. We continue to pray for those who walk that path of grief. We pray for our funeral families and we pray for those who find themselves very, very alone at this time because of the death of a loved one. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We continue to pray for the children of this nation. We pray for teachers. We pray for all those who work in schools. We pray for parents with younger children at home. We pray for children for whom home is not a safe place, for those who will have spent this night in fear. And we pray for all those who continue to work to protect children and vulnerable people at this time of lockdown. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And in a moment of silence, we name before God those who are particularly on our hearts and minds this morning, perhaps those names that keep coming to us overnight. we commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your comfort, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race sent your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Standing at the foot of the cross together this Good Friday. Let us pray with confidence as our Father has taught us, so as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. O Christ, who bore our sins on the cross, set us free to serve him with joy, today and always. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I want to thank you for your company this morning. I've got more of you watching live this morning than we've had for some time. And I want to thank you for joining us, those who watch a bit later, and also those who watch on YouTube. A particular shout out to our friends at Presswood, who I think will be watching later today. So it's lovely to have the whole church family here represented in different ways. And those of you who are watching um, from other parts of the country and also from other parts of the world, we're going global and it's a real joy from our little villages um, to reach so many of you and to have your company as we find ourselves united in our humanity during this pandemic. So today is Good Friday at 11 o'clock on the St Mary's Facebook page. Caleb and I will be doing some more Friday cooking with you. So special baking for Easter um, and we probably will also make an Easter garden. So I want to encourage you to think about that. Um, I was thinking that we could all make little Easter gardens over the next few days and put them outside our homes um, on uh, Easter day so that people walking past might be able to look. So do have a little um, look. Um, I've just seen my friend from Munich. I'm just going to give him a wave. So Nathan and Rada and uh, their church in Munich. So it's lovely to see you. So yes, so Easter gardens. Actually, you've got the cats trying to get the attention. I don't know if you've seen him creeping around. Um, Easter gardens we're going to make as well. So 11 o'clock on the St Mary's page. Do join us for a little bit of family fun. Um, then at two o'clock on this page, we've got um, a service of the last hour. So I'm joined by one or two friends and we will each be um, taking uh, reflective time through Jesus's last hour on the cross. So do join us for that service of reflection um, at two o'clock. Um, and then we've got evening prayer at 6.30, which Lynn will be leading. And at some point, um, the lovely Immy will also be um, joining us and um, singing some songs, um, a worship song suitable for Good Friday. So it will be lovely to see you throughout the day. Um, and I hope you have a blessed Good Friday.